Welcome back to Code Salad. Today I have a very special video teaching you how to fix your bugs in your code with GitHub Copilot and AI super easily. Uh, I don't want to overcomplicate this, so let's go right over to the editor and let's begin. If you know React.js, you'll be able to follow along pretty easily, but if you don't, I'm going to try to explain what this code does. I've pre-written some code here that is knowingly pretty buggy. And I'm gonna fix this code with GitHub Copilot without putting pretty much any brain power into it. I'm gonna quickly explain what the component does. This is simply a UI component that is supposed to display a input for you to input your email. And it's supposed to pluck the first part of your email, the part before the at sign, and make that your username, display it on the screen next to the input, and also have a submit button that does something, right? And this is just a simple component that essentially doesn't do anything, but as you can see, there's a bunch of errors going on. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that with Copilot. So right now I have the GitHub Copilot extension installed. You can see that on my left-hand side, I have GitHub Copilot installed. And I'm going to simply hover over this bug here for get username, which calls a function below, which is supposed to split, up, split off the email perfectly. Um, and get your username, I can click quick fix on the error and click fix using Copilot. And Copilot will do what it can and not only fix that bug, but fix anything that it actually can. So let's look at the changes it made. It added a argument to pass in email to get username because we need to send the function, the email to get the username from it. That makes sense. Now, it made another change as well below, which changed this function called on input change. Now, if you know React, you'll notice that below where I have on input change, it's on the on change attribute of the input. Now, in order to properly link this to the input, you need to have it accept an event, not just a string. The on change attribute of the input will not emit a string, it'll emit an event that has that string embedded within that object. And that's exactly what this code did. It plucked the event instead of a string and then went to the event.target.value. And I'm gonna accept that change. It fixed two bugs with one stone. Um, I had to click fix in this area, but it decided to fix two places. Pretty cool. All the bugs are not fixed though. Um, this one below, you'll see I uh, cannot find uh, some bit uh, so I'm going to go ahead and write a function, const uh, on submit, and I'm going to make this function pretty much do nothing except make a console log that says submit. Now, you'll probably catch what I did. I spelled it wrong, right? Um, but instead of listening to my code editor telling me what I probably did wrong, I'm just going to say fix using CodePilot because, again, I'm going to put no brain power into this, and it's just going to do it on its own. There you go. It fixed the spelling for me. I'm going to accept that and I'm going to run a format to clean everything up and there we go. Now, if I launch this in my editor, um, you'll notice that we still have a bug. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reload my uh, browser here and, well, once the, once the server loads up in a second, um, You'll see on our local host here, it kind of looks pretty bad, but we didn't style the app, so that's expected. I entered an email, foo at bar.com, and you'll see that while it is displaying the username like we expected, it's not displaying the proper part of the email that would be the username, which would be foo in this case. We want the first part of the email to be the username. So going back to the code editor, we don't have any errors, but we still have a bug. And so I'm gonna go ahead and think to myself, okay, the input is where ultimately we type in the email that gets tied to this email variable and um, get username is how we turn that into a username. So there must be a problem with our get username function. Now, if I don't wanna think about what to do, I can just right click that and say, hey, Copilot, fix this. And if it doesn't know what it's doing immediately, it's gonna ask me, what would you like to fix in your code? And I'm literally gonna explain to it. This is uh, giving me the wrong part of the email. I need the first part. And then I'm gonna send a query. 
and it's going to go ahead and make a change to my code, as you might have seen, and um, then it's going to display it to me. So it's going to change the index from 1 to 0. Indexes start at 0. So in order to get the first thing, I need it to be 0. That's correct. I'm going to click Save, and then hopefully when I go back to my browser, there you go, username is foo. So all in all, this is how you fix code and bugs and whatever else you need right within Visual Studio Code with GitHub Copilot and AI super easily. I hope you find this helpful. And if you found this useful, please subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos. And other than that, have a good night.